So I just got my water pump in. I'm gonna show you guys this. Show you what I've been doing. Pretty bad. This has been the uh, this has been my jerry rigged thing I've been using for the past five days. Um, here's the replacement. We're gonna we're gonna put this in so I'll have you guys do it with me okay so I'm gonna put a little disclaimer out here because I'm not like a handy like I'm not a naturally like oh I can fix that kind of a guy in fact most things that I try to fix end up getting broken so um, this is gonna be an easy fix so I'm not gonna declare that on this uh, so I'm just saying that for your sakes to know that I'm fixing this should be fairly easy to do I'm not scared of it and I looked on YouTube too so we can do this together and yeah here we go okay. here's the piece of the water pump that uh, kind of blew off the back so yeah you know let me show you guys something so this thing right here, this is a water pressure regulator. You can see that. We've been now full timing for over a year and a half and this is the first time this has happened to me. My mistake, it basically, it did this. It, it blew my, uh, my water pump clear in half and busted all the bolts inside of here. I got a lot of water coming here. So, and that's probably because the tank is just flowing freely out. So I'm gonna hold that up somehow. So this is the Remco AquaJet low noise 12 volt DC variable speed diaphragm pump. Honestly guys, the only reason why I went with this was because the mounting brackets are in the same place and this is the same exact one that was already in my coach and we liked it and it worked well. This is a more expensive pump, but this is a high quality coach and uh, we've just gotten really used to that and we kind of want to keep the coach up to par where it's at. Is this so cool, buddy? I think it's cool too. I'm so nervous. This is not, this is not like my, this is not my expertise here. I know it's just a water pump, but come on, I mean, it's just not my thing. Can somebody like who actually knows how to fix stuff, like Larry, if you're out there, would you please be so kind as to explain to me why like, why like these things exist? Like, I don't even know. I'm so confused. Like, why can't they just use a Phillips head screwdriver? Why do they gotta make it so difficult? So like, there's this thing, it's got like some star thing in it. Like, did somebody say, hmm, let's make it more difficult on people to fix things. We'll change that. So I think, I think I've got all the right tools for it. It's frustrating. This is the reason why I don't, like, <sighs> fix things very much, cause I'm always like, I don't even know how to use tool. And then look at this. So I have this screwdriver, right? And I go put this in here and it's gone. <laughs> okay, I can do this. So I'm trying to, I don't know if you can see it. Back there, yeah, you can see that. Right there is a screw that I could not get out. It's got, it's got these star type things on it. Like I don't even know what that is. I will say, I can do this, I believe I can, and I know my dad would be proud of me because he knows like I don't ever fix things unless I'm with him, so this is, this is a test for me. I can do this. I cannot get this thing. My dad would just use a vice grip, but I don't have one of those. I don't carry one of those along with me. I can't even get this thing to budge. found this little guy, I found a different one. It was a square one. You got star one, square one, oxagon, hexagon one. What in the world? Can't you just stick with one? Time to put this in. Uh, it comes with this thing. I'm actually gonna take this off because it's the same. I already got that in there. Everything's already set up for it, which is nice. 
I guess this is some sort of a ground. I guess I gotta figure out how to put that on. <sighs> Goes back in there, like so. It's got these little rubber mounting brackets on it. I mean, four screws and that's it. I should be able to do this and plug it back in. Okay, I've got one in there. I have to take it back out because I didn't realize I, I probably should figure out which way the water is flowing. I have no idea which way it's flowing. I don't want to get that wrong. Right here are these little arrows. I'm guessing it's the water flow. I'm not trying to act dumb here, but I'm just, this is just new to me, all this. I'm assuming that's the way it goes because this big one goes all the way back to my holding tank back there. I'm assuming then the water draws off of there and then puts it into you know, here, which makes sense because I don't have the water on right now, but I have water in the tank. And so this one that I hung up here was like, water was coming up, obviously because of gravity. So I think I've got it right. I found one of these guys in my toolbox that I'd use to put the wires together for the fans in the boys' bed. So that's good. I think I can do this. I hope it's the right one. I can't wait to take a shower. Okay. Almost to the home stretch. Moment of truth. Siobhan! Are you sure it's not gonna blow up? I'm not sure. But if it does, we'll get it on video. Did you put the electrical Parts on the right parts. Checking the uh, specs on the end line for the rotary girder. I put the rotary specs on the girder. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's a Tommy Boy line. It's working. It works. That wasn't so bad. Thank you guys for watching my water pump change. Remember, we can make the world better. I believe we can, one water pump at a time. Give us an RV tour, Graham. What's your RV say, tour? Say hey, everybody. Say hey, everybody, here's our RV. Hey, everybody, here's our RV. You can show it to everybody? It's right there? Hey. Is that your RV? Is that your house?